Hi and welcome back to How to Use Anna 2. In this one, we're going to take a look at creating a sort of retro uh, polysynth patch. Um, something sort of based around Oberheim type vibes. Um, so one of the things that uh, used to happen quite a lot in earlier synths, they obviously didn't have um, big unison super solo sounds that we have today. So they used uh, pulse width modulation to give um, that sort of similar vibe. So we can select our JP square PWM sound. And if we right click on our morph, we can assign that to an LFO. And we can see here that it's assigned and we can increase the depth. We've got this nice sort of modulating PWM sound. And when we combine that with a saw, we'll use our nice Oberheim saw. And then add a tiny bit of pitch shift on each of them. We get this sort of um, quite rich sounding, almost unison-y type vibe. I'm gonna turn the oscillators down a bit just because we're gonna be playing multiple notes. So just with two oscillators, we're getting this quite fat sounding vibe. Um, and then stuff like the Oberheim Matrix 12, um, you could have unison as well. So we add a couple of voices of unison and that would still give you six notes of polyphony. Um, so there we go. We can even add another saw in. The Oberheims give you the option to stack multiple oscillator shapes on the one oscillator. So we can have um, a saw matching with our pulse width on the same tuning. So we'll put that up four. And one of the other tricks to get it an even thicker sound is to start modulating the pitches around a bit. So we will assign oscillator one to LFO2. We can use our pitch fine, which um, is up and down an octave. And I'll just go into our oscillator mixer and solo. We don't want the pitch going too extreme. And that's our, our PWM, this is the pitch. And then we can do the same for our other saw. So we're going to our mod matrix, LFO3. We'll assign to pitch. Our oscillator 2 will assign to LFO3. And oscillator 3, which we're sort of hooking up with the first oscillator, we can just assign it to LFO2 as well as if they were on the same oscillator, so... Let's unsolo our oscillator. We can bring our pitches down a bit. So we've got this now quite thick sounding polysynth. I'll turn the pitch modulation down a bit more. And to thicken things up even more, we can use our chorus. Turn that 
turn our depth up and then we can modulate our, or turn our rate down. We just want to add a, a touch of that to give it a bit of vibes. Sounding good. And then we can add one of our filters. We'll go for the over filters. And at this point, you can sort of decide what sort of sound you want, whether you want a, just a pure stringing, in which case you'd want to, wouldn't want to have too much envelope. And make it a bit softer. And we should also um, turn our envelopes to analog just to get the vibes. And I like to bring each of the oscillators down an octave and it just gives you more bass notes. So there we go, we've got a, a sort of classic sound in polysynth. In the next one, we're gonna take a look at creating some basic pad sounds. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you wanna watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.